I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. This is The Truth is Full of Lies, and in this video I wanted to explain the Illuminati, the Freemasons, the occult, and Lucifer, and the Luciferian Doctrine, and how it all connects to this world, and how they all connect to each other, because it needs to be opened up. Okay. Now, the, first, I should, will start off, the Illuminati is not a organization. The Illuminati means the enlightened ones. Okay. There was a secret society founded in 1776 called the Bavarian Illuminati, but that is not the Illuminati that most people will speak of, although they may think that is the Illuminati. That organization is no longer around, my friends. So the Illuminati means the enlightened ones. Freemason means the sons of light. For its Illuminati is Latin. Freemason is a French word. Free ma son. It means the sons of light. Occult means hidden. It derives from the Latin word occultus, which means hidden. It all means hidden. Secret society, occult, hidden. Mystery, Babylon. Revelation 7, chapter 17, verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. This is how it all connects. Lucifer is called the light bearer. Lucifer, the light, the morning star. Son of the morning star. Lucifer, the light. These people do not worship Lucifer. They do not worship the devil. They do not even worship a god. Go to churchofsane.com, read their article, What the Devil. They'll tell you right there they do not worship a god, they do not worship Lucifer, they do not worship Satan. They use Lucifer as a metaphor for the light, the intellect, the hidden knowledge, the occult. the knowledge that the horrible and cruel God was leaving from mankind in the Garden of Eden. Lucifer, the intellect, the godhood inside of us, Kundalini, the serpent, the owl sees in the dark. It's wise because it can see in the dark. The Bohemian Club. That club. That is why there is a owl in the corner of the American dollar bill. That is why there is an eye at the back of the American dollar bill. The eye represents the sun. Horus. The sun. The sun represents the intellect. The godhood within us. Fibonacci, the intellect. I hope you people see the connection in all of it. There is no hidden knowledge. God does not hide anything from you. Lucifer is the one who hides stuff from you. These people, the illuminated, dark men who control this world, are the ones who are hiding the knowledge from you because the hidden knowledge is actually how to control everybody else. And all you so-called truthers that are going out there trying to find the hidden knowledge, uh, the truth, the truth about Jesus, See, that's another thing. They can't even deny Jesus' existence. They say he was an alien, or he was a prophet, or he, or he was, he was a spirit, or whatever it is. 
They can't even deny his existence. And they tell you that he was just giving you spiritual knowledge. Just like all the other gods, like Buddha and Krishna and Horus and all the other sun gods, all the other intellects. The Al, the I, all mean the same thing. The intellect. The they are the enlightened ones. Lucifer is called the light bearer. They follow Lucifer, the light, the fire. That's why they go to places like Bohemian Grove, sacrifice children to spirits in front of a 40 foot owl. The tree of good and evil meant the intellect, the intellect of knowing good from evil, becoming a god. Who is the source of morality in this world? God. Is man the source of morality? Look around you. What do you see? War, 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 murder, rape. You want to make man God? You want to make man decide what is good and what is bad? Look at thousands of years years of human history and tell me, is that good? Did man, does man have morality? No, man does not have morality. Have you ever met one human being on this earth, man or woman, that has never sinned in their life, or has never committed a bad deed, or has never lied, or has never stolen anything? Have you ever? Or has never bared a false witness against thy neighbor? Have you ever? I've never. That is why God told you not to e eat from the true fruit of the tree of good and evil. He didn't say that you don't know what the tree is. He was happy to tell you what the tree was. He told you not to eat from the fruit of the tree of good and evil. He tells you what is good and what is evil. And you don't eat from the fruit because you are not the one who decides who, what is good and what is evil. Look at human history. Tell me if that has worked for mankind. No, it has not worked for mankind. Not at all. Why, would it, why in the world would anyone want to make man God? I would not trust myself as God because I know myself too well. We're humans. We're sinners. We make mistakes. And brothers and sisters, I want to wrap this up by saying, if you know about the Illuminati, the enlightened ones, and you know that they're Luciferian, they follow Lucifer, and that it's very obvious that they're trying to destroy every single religion on the planet, save theirs. Their humanist religion. They want us to all walk around deciding what's good and what's evil. You know what? I was even talking to an occultist yesterday, and he was telling me there's no such thing as good and evil. I, I was... I told him, okay, what well, Hitler did, good or evil? He said, well... I don't know. It wasn't good or evil. These, these, these are how screwed up these people are. They don't even think what Hitler did was bad. Because cause Hitler thought what he was doing was good. Therefore, it's not necessarily evil. These, this is what these people think. And of course, people don't know what they're doing is evil. That's because man is not the source of morality. If man was the source of morality and he knew what he was doing was evil, he would not do the evil. That's why when people do evil, they think they're doing good. So I have to leave you with this question. If the Illuminati, the men who are controlling this world, are dark men worshipping spirits and worshipping Lucifer, then why don't you follow Christ? Why don't you follow the one true God? If they're following Lucifer and these men are screwing up the planet, are, are making it a, a literal hell on earth, 
They're trying to steer us away from religion and from Christ. Why don't you follow Christ? Do you can you put the pieces together? If they're following Satan, why don't you combat it by following Christ? The only person who can combat Satan is Christ. The only person who can take away man's wickedness is Christ. That is what the original sin is. You sinned when you came to this earth. Because it was your fault, not Satan's. Christ is the only way to eternal life. Christ is the only one who can get rid of evil. So you can keep fighting the symptoms of the problem. You can keep fighting uh, the fight. But it will not work. Christ is the only way. He's the only one who can get rid of evil on this earth. And I'll give you a very, very easy example. Because we have all known people in this world whose life is a complete wreck. Who was a drug addict. Or who was in prison. And went out in, a, in and out of prison. And who robbed banks. And, and whose life is a complete wreck. I bet we... I bet you we've all met at least one person who has had that kind of life. And they turn their life completely around with the love of Jesus Christ. I'm not talking to someone who gone to church and started going to church. Because going to church does not make you a Christian any more than being in a garage makes you a car. I'm talking about someone whose life had a 180 turn because they started reading the Bible. Because the gospel changed their heart. They could not do this themselves. We've all, brothers and sisters, we've all tried to change our life. We've all tried to stop lying. We've all tried to make ourselves better. But it never works. We always go down the same path. Only... Jesus Christ can change the wickedness of the human heart, and that is the point of the gospel. You may have wrote that person off as going crazy, because how else can you explain the 180 degree turn in their life, huh? When you make Man, God, we will have a hell on earth, and frankly, I do not want to live on that earth. Think about what I just said, and think about it long, and think about it hard. God bless you all.